I began the day walking through one of my favorite parks in Macau, Lo Lim Liok. Built in 1906, it was actually originally a private garden, but since 1974, it has been open to the public, allowing anyone to wander through the lush, energetic landscape. For me, it is a great place to find focus for the day ahead. Studies have actually shown that spending time within nature can help reduce stress, anxiety, and even increase energy levels. Good morning, everyone. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but the cinematics are looking a little bit different today. That's because I'm using a prime lens. I've never used one of these lenses before, but having used it, it's like super sexy, smooth butter. It looks really nice. I really like it. And today I'm going to be experimenting a bit with this new prime lens and seeing what sort of cinematics I can get of Macau. Today's adventure is a bit simple. There's just one goal. But it's more of a goal to get me out there into the world exploring with this new lens. And that's going to be to try and find an awesome coffee and cafe spot. So I want to find a delicious coffee in a hidden cafe. It's been humid over the last couple of days, so I really need a good reason to go out and sweat my ass off. <laughs> I think coffee is a good reason why. What's really cool about this bridge that I'm walking on right now is the reason why it's so curved and sort of strange, it's not a straight line, is apparently so that evil spirits cannot cross. Apparently evil spirits can only go in straight lines and so having this uh, sort of weaving through the lake, it, it stops all the evil spirits from passing through. It's pretty cool, I mean very very beautiful place to walk in. This garden is actually surrounded by towering apartment buildings. But under the trees and leaves, I honestly forgot I was in the heart of the city. Like an oasis to the bustle. In here there was a feeling of peace and calm. What was great about this lens too, was how narrow its view was. It forced me to focus in on the textures that made up the environment. Not something I had done before, and it helped me gain a new appreciation for the details that formed together to create this wonderful place. Kind of like a visual version of the famous phrase, enjoy the little things. We've had a bit of a walk around Lo Lim Liok. I really like using this lens. This is a park I've walked around many, many times, but being able to see it through this camera and this new lens, it kind of breathes a new life into this place. And it's partly why I love filming my adventures is because it always adds new elements to make it exciting and fun. But now we're gonna head out into the bustling streets of Macau. Vibrant nature to condensed urban, I continued my journey through the streets of Macau. Where exactly I was going, I wasn't quite sure. I wanted to find coffee, but I also wanted to find some awesome spots along the way. Therefore, my strategy for this adventure was rather simple. Follow the path that looks the coolest, and hope to stumble across nice coffee. This tap sack is super beautiful, I really like it. I really, really love doing this sort of filming with this lens, actually. It's making all these places and landmarks that I've been to before, just, I don't know, seem new again. It's really fun. Turns out, whenever you live somewhere, you maybe stop appreciating it. That's why maybe a new lens or a new adventure can help you rediscover somewhere you live with new eyes that make it seem fresh, exciting and new again. While walking, I was shocked to hear someone call out my name. It was an old friend, someone I had not seen for a long time. He invited me into a lovely bakery slash cafe with a vintage feel that was rare to find in Macau. 
It was called Pastes de Chavas. I got to meet his friend, and they very kindly introduced to me the delicious Pastes de Chavez, a scrumptious flaky pastry from Portugal. And it was perfectly complemented with a wonderful espresso. It was a pretty unbelievable experience, and I cannot believe how friendly and kind they were. If you're in Macau, I absolutely recommend checking this place out. Authentic, friendly, and delicious. Just a perfect spot for coffee. Been walking by the ruins of St. Paul. The area is super beautiful, and I really like using this new lens, which is the prime lens. It's given me a whole new view on Macau. Even though I've lived here for about two years, and I filmed a lot of these places, the fact of just using a different lens to see it totally changes the way you look at these very popular landmarks that I've been to before many, many times. But just shooting it with a different lens makes me have a new appreciation for it. So really really beautiful and I'm really enjoying it just exploring the streets filming it with this lens it's been a lot of fun it really had been a lot of fun and it didn't really make much sense why I had walked these streets maybe a hundred times over and had even filmed them probably more than once yet here I was walking around with this sort of excitement and wonder that usually only comes with exploring a new place I suppose I owe it to the lens, because through it I saw a perspective I had never witnessed before. Details I had missed, textures that were overshadowed, overall just new elements in the environment I had not seen. But perhaps that was just the half of it. The lens is a tool to a larger change within my mind, a visual change that in turn created a mental one. Rather than look at these streets as places already explored, with this lens I was able to look at them as treasures filled with hidden gems. And because of this I gained a new appreciation for what was once a common view, realizing once more the uniqueness and beauty of these streets that over the years had faded in my head. Honestly I'm amazed how a new perspective can change a place completely, and this adventure certainly taught me the power of that, and I suppose it makes sense too. At the end of the day, it's usually not the place that changes, it's you. What an adventure today. That surprised me. I am fairly surprised and happily surprised today. I'm here at Camoyish Gardens on this beautiful little, uh, I don't even know, a little Portuguese fort sort of standing in the middle of the jungle. Beautiful area, beautiful view. I think it's a perfect place to end today's adventure. I had a lot of fun. For a lot of adventures, I get a little bit stressed because I want to try and make it as epic as possible. But today just reminded me that sometimes you don't have to over plan. You can just go out there with a simple goal of finding some coffee and then you bump into friends, you find hidden gems, you see beautiful places. And also with a new lens, you get, well I got to see a new side of Macau that I hadn't really seen before. Even though all these places that I filmed today, I filmed before and I've been to before countless times. Just having a different viewpoint on it made it so much fun, I had a really great time. It seemed like a new city today, just with a new lens. And I guess it just goes to show you that a change of perspective can make anywhere an adventure and feel new and fresh and exciting. I had a blast, I had an awesome day, and that's all you can really ask for in an adventure. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Let me know what you think of this new lens. I don't know whether I'll keep using it, but it was certainly a fun experience to use it today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, go check out that coffee spot if you're here in Macau. They're awesome, they're lovely, it's authentic, and it's delicious. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one, guys.